friends welcome back to the channel for another video this week if you're new here my name is Jerry Dickamicea but all my friends call me G and if you're a turning subscriber thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face and if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up like share comment subscribe do not forget to follow me over on Instagram for all of the fabulous updates okay and come back each week for weekly uploads girl so today's video is gonna be a good one I think I'm more excited to create this video than you guys may be to watch this video okay I have been waiting for the day that I can create like this type of content and now the day is here we're gonna be getting into details about this little system behind me I'm gonna before we I show it and go through like what I did I'm gonna um kind of like break down my thought process behind why i picked this originally i wanted to do a ikea packs system but i felt like once i went to the ikea's um website everything first of all everything that i needed was sold out it was like not even available in houston where i probably could have like when got it it was just it would have been a whole sh de debacle i don't have time for that and also i'm in a one bedroom this apartment is very airy it's very open it's pretty large and to be a one bedroom and I want to keep that airy open vibe I didn't want it to feel too cluttered and I just feel like I this is in my bedroom if I would have did the Ikea pack system it would have looked very bulky and I just wouldn't have been in love I didn't want it to have a bulky look so I got a little discouraged I can't lie but once I kind of like stepped back I was like okay if I could do a wardrobe wall what would I want it to look like and the first thing that came to my mind was G's luxury boutique like that's the only thing like this I wanted it to be my aesthetics down to the T like the details so that's it y'all I am so pleased with this now I'm gonna give you all the measurements everything and also you should know I'm proud of myself I'm so happy because I built this thing myself okay so I tried to do a task rabbit and let them come put it together they wanted to charge me $198 per piece to put together per like little system no ma'am I got a drill and I put it together myself so this little system right here I think it is perfect for the person who you you don't have that much space you don't have like a full room to create your dream closet this will be perfect if you're limited on space and you still want something that's aesthetically pleasing but very functional that was one thing in this apartment I don't have a lot of storage so everything that I'm putting in here it needs to be functional not just cute it has to be functional down to like the smallest details i have to use it for different um purposes not just one reason okay so without further ado let's get into this beautiful situation behind us girl because i'm proud okay i am proud and you guys should know this is all of me down to the t i didn't have no inspiration nothing i the only thing that came to my mind was if i had a pop-up shop for my closet for people to come to my closet and see some of my favorite pieces how would i design it and soon as i said that to my head all of these came and all you guys should know all of the pieces that i'm going to be showing you i picked them up from amazon i'm going to link them all down below and i am going to start updating my amazon storefront because girl i am finding the pieces okay amazon Oh, I'm not going to tell you how much money I've spent on Amazon. Oh, this whole system that I built with tax, I added everything together. It was 624, no 650. Before tax, it was 624. After tax, 650. So I feel like that's pretty reasonable. And yeah, I'm not going to keep rambling because I'm getting excited. So I'm going to show you girls. All right, girls. So when you first walk into the room, this is the first thing you're going to see. Even when you walk into the apartment and my bedroom door is open, this is kind of going to be like the focal point, like of what you can see, which I love. And look at it, y'all. It came out so beautiful. Now I'm going to break down the sizing and everything. So as you can see right here in this little nook, I have my recording equipment i needed this space because i want to have like an area where my recording equipment is this is also large enough i don't know if you can tell on camera this space right here is large enough for me to put like another little small bookshelf to kind of like match these but i'm not going to do that because i like having my equipment here so that can just make it easy for me to like get everything down there they have like um different chargers and wires it's just easy access to all of the things that i need when i'm constantly creating content so the first 
little system is here. This is gonna be the tallest one. Um, hold on, I wrote everything down. So this one here was $155. It took me about 45 minutes to install it, put it together and mount it to the wall. Um, it is 78, no, 70, yeah, 78.7 .7 inches tall, 36 inches wide. Um, it comes 12 inches off of the wall. This thing, if you click on Amazon, it's not supposed to be that tall. I actually moved a few bars around because I wanted it a little taller because I actually didn't want these to line up perfectly. I kind of wanted them just a little off. As you can see, these two are not lined perfectly. I wanted it a little off because, I don't know, I just had this idea of I wanted to be cohesive but not the same. So on this one, you get one, um, two, three, you get three shelves. Now down here was supposed to be another shelf. I actually put that shelf up here at the top because I knew I wanted to like house um, the Hermes boxes because y'all know how I feel about Hermes boxes. I love Hermes orange, everything about it. It's just a vibe. On the bar, you get a lot of room. I didn't want these bars super tight. So I just put a few pieces on there. And down here at the bottom, I have jeans here and up there I have some jean shorts and at the bottom just some rain boots I wanted this area I didn't want to put a shelf down there because I felt like during the winter time I want this area to be open for like boots taller boots that I don't want to um put in the closet and things that I kind of like want to see or if I'm traveling I can like line up the shoes that I'm going to take with me I could just like line them up and also the shelves on this thing is not mounted so this can literally just come right off and if I want to bring it back down here I could you can um put the shelf anywhere you want whether it's here there or there and down here they had like an extra um bar but like I said I extended it so it can be a little taller so and also I was very 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 picky when it comes to the hangers so I knew I wanted to do wooden hangers because I just feel like it gives it a very elegant look and it just looks very clean. Anytime I'm like in New York and I'm shopping, they always have like nice wooden hangers in my main closet. All of my hangers, they're, um, they're velvet. I didn't want to do velvet hangers out here. I just felt like it wouldn't have given me that this look that I'm going for. Also, these hangers are from Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm going to link them down below. I paid $12 for like 10. That's a little pricey with wire, wire with wooden hangers. Wooden hangers are like a little more expensive, but I like the look that it gives. And what I really loved about this. Now, this is when I get down to the details. You see how these the wire on the hangers, they're matte black. All of the wooden hangers that I was finding, they were gold or they were silver. I didn't want anything gold to like clash with this gold. I was already a little nervous about this gold because I didn't want it to come off cheap or tacky. So I was a little nervous about that. So I felt like the matte black just kind of like popped a little more. So yeah, I love this. And on this rack, it's pretty much, I have a few blazers here, some dresses, a lot of my aj pieces are here and yeah things that i kind of like want to bring out and wear more so this is the first i guess you can call rack and the thing that i'm going for in my room or in the whole apartment is like the industrial farmhouse vibe so that's why i picked this with the the washers like i really 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 love that it gives it like a very industrial look and not like too, it's like industrial, not too modern. I don't really know how to explain it, but everything that I was going for, it literally gave. So that is the first one. Now, the second one here, I literally went on a hunt for this one because I could have easily picked two of these, but I felt like it wouldn't give me the dimension that I'm looking for. So I got this one because see how that shelf is tall. I was like, man, if I find something like this, I like how that shelf, I can literally walk up to it, reach, get perfume. I have a candle there and my butterflies. For those of you who don't know, I absolutely love butterflies. I'm obsessed. I get a new butterfly every year for my birthday. I started this in 20. 20 this butterfly i literally purchased in 2020 because i was like man that year in january 
I just knew something was gonna happen and my life was gonna completely change. And guess what? My life literally changed. The pandemic happened. I started doing YouTube and life just completely changed. This one is the butterfly that I purchased for myself when I made one year on YouTube. And this is for my 29th birthday. Anytime I hit a milestone or I feel like I receive my quote unquote wings in an area, I buy a butterfly. I actually just purchased one for my 30th birthday. So it should be um coming soon so i have this acrylic stand i'm gonna link it down below it's from amazon i love it i got all of my perfumes <laughs> this is literally all of my perfume i don't have a lot um i want to get into buying more but for now those are the ones i have and here also this one let me give you the details because i actually wrote it down girl this unit was 99 dollars it took me about literally 20 minutes to put it together and put it on the wall. And yes, I mounted all of these things on the wall myself. Girl, <laughs> listen, I, I just couldn't wait for nobody. I wanted it done. Um, It's 40 inches wide, it's 10 inches from the wall, and it's 20 inches long. Hmm, what does that mean? I think I messed up. Oh, okay. So it's 40 inches wide. It comes 10 inches off the wall and it's 20 inches long. Gotcha. Okay. And this one, like I said, I didn't want them to be too perfect. So I brought this one down just a little because I also knew over here, I don't believe I'm going to do like any bottom hangers over here. I do want to do bottom hangers. See how it fits just like perfect. And this also is a cabinet that I picked up from Amazon. We're going to get into that in a second. But on this rack, I plan to pull the pieces that I really like, maybe new in pieces, things I just got in, um, pieces that I really want to wear more. Like right now, I have my favorite piece in my wardrobe. If you would ask me, what is my favorite piece in my wardrobe? It's definitely going to be my Gucci Ghost pleated skirt because the fact that I found this thing is like mind blowing because y'all, I was in love with this thing and I still am so now I can display it and just just oh my god I'm literally obsessed um a lot of these pieces are from my Zara haul because these are the pieces that I want to wear and they're just the pieces alone <laughs> they're aesthetically pleasing so yep that's all for that unit now down here I also put this together myself purchased this from Amazon let's see Y'all, I literally wrote everything down. Um, the storage cabinet was 169. She's 30 inches wide, 25.5 um, inches tall. Each drawer is 14.4 inches wide, and this unit cabinet comes 15.8 inches off of the wall. Now, I found this that's why I said the fashion gods were literally on my side because I found this this did not come like this I zhuzhed all of this up it literally came just without the gold things I'm gonna most likely pop up a picture on the screen of what it came like and it, it was okay but I just wanted it to kind of like be a little more cohesive and as you can see like the gold kind of like match the bars I even went to Home Depot like I was on a hunt for these because see how they have like the industrial kind of like vibe and I also put this together myself up here I just have a Hermes box my Christian Dior designer of dreams y'all remember I went to that exhibit in Brooklyn for vlogmas I actually watched that vlog y'all last night that's a good vlog I'm gonna link that below well above because y'all need to watch that I actually have a turtle because one of my friends purchased this I can keep like money jewelry whatever in there I also love turtles I have a diffuser from home goods and some Hermes jewelry boxes on the top now I purchased this because I needed something to house my jewelry and just make it a little more easier for me to get to the jewelry put it back for the past couple of years all of my jewelry has been in boxes and I didn't like that so also I tried to get um, a liner but the liner wasn't ready so I have all of my bracelets up here I'm gonna get like a jewelry liner to put in there so the things won't move down here I have rings necklaces some more bracelets more rings stuff like that down here I have things that is still in boxes and 
few more random accessories. Um, some sunglasses that can't fit in my sunglass case. And some, it's like a junk drawer and empty luxury boxes because I didn't want to get rid of them. So all of the jewelry will be on this side and it just makes it very easy for me to like get dressed, open things up without having to constantly, if I want to wear an Air Max click clack, I have to take it out the box and all that. That's too much work. And over here, I'm not going to go too much into detail. I have my aunt socks, underwear, bras, sports bras. And I got these little bands. Look how cute this look. I got these bands from um, TJ Maxx, y'all, for $7.99. And these are also easy clothes. So, yeah, that's the second little system, which I am obsessed. Now, moving on to the first thing I built, because for the past few years, I have literally been... All my bags have been in the dust bags. Half of these bags I completely forgot I had. Um, a lot of them had to go in my main closet because I couldn't, they didn't stand up, they didn't really have structure, and or they just wasn't, it was too large to go here. So the bag wall is actually a bookshelf. And let me see if I can show y'all the details. It's gold. It doesn't really match the same gold, but I didn't mind. It's okay. Um, this bookshelf was $1.99. This took me the longest to install. It took me about two hours to install this thing. It was, all of these things were very, if you pay attention to the details and really take your time, these things are very, very easy to put together. Um, only reason it took me about two hours because originally I didn't have a drill. I had to go out and get my grandma drill. And once I got her drill, y'all, it literally went by so quick. I was originally screwing everything with by hand. So the shelves are 14 inches long. This whole thing is 68 inches tall, 68.5 inches wide, 22 inch um, shelves. What does that mean? I'm sorry y'all. Oh, I'm sorry. It has 14 shelves on here. <laughs> 60 uh, each shelf is 22 inches long and the shelving space is 14.2 inches. So it's like 14.2 inches, whatever. I had to give you the details. Now, uh, I'm so obsessed. Can y'all just get into it? Get into it. Oh, girl, I love everything about it. And what I loved about this one, cause I went through so many pieces on Amazon. If you can see each shelf can like house multiple bags. That's exactly what I wanted. Like love, 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 love. Absolutely love. Down here I have like my Air Max slides. I didn't have room for this box, so they have slides in there. And I get to finally show this beauty. This is the Vintage Dior saddlebag in excellent condition. I literally got this before the Dior saddlebags came back in style. <sighs> Girl, and I got this little stand also from Amazon. I'm gonna link that down below. So I kind of try to group everything by either brand or color so there's my black bag this whole section even like I needed to see things because I didn't know I had this many black bags I always be like okay I need a new black bag so I have black hair Fendi pieces here Gucci a mixture of things here um a few shoes that I girl sickening can I wait to wear and yeah, this is the bag wall. I would highly recommend this um this little bookshelf for anyone because what I love about these pieces, I don't know if you guys is coming off on camera, but the IKEA when I measured, the IKEA pack system was gonna come like I stick out to here. And that would have taken so much room away from this room. This room is very spacious, very large, and I love having like it very open. So if you can see, okay, if I do it, but look how much room. I have it's not really taking up any room I love that even with these like I don't know if you can see it's like there's a whole like lot of room like this floor is like completely empty it's not bulky it's not it's just very aesthetically pleasing and this is the first thing I see when I wake up like I'm literally freaking obsessed and over here I get so many questions about this picture this is the picture that I had in my room at home this is a picture of the queen, honey, Naomi Campbell. And I also have a picture of Carl Lagerfeld on the other wall with Andre. So yeah, girl, 
Now also with these two little um, rags, these will constantly be changed out. Anytime I get bored of seeing these, I'll just go into my main closet, like kind of like continue to merchandise it, switch things out. I know this will constantly be changing, like literally probably weekly. This for the most part will probably stay the same. I know jeans will always be here, but yeah, I'm gonna just constantly change everything up. So this won't always look like this. I'll constantly change the bags around. You know, just kind of like refresh it and constantly change it. So this is not my closet. This is just a wardrobe wall. So yeah, this is not my closet. This is not all of my clothes. My clothes are in the closet. These are the pieces that I just felt like I want to display and just kind of like have fun with it. So for those of you who are asking where's the rest of my things, they're in my closet. And I also put this mirror here. Now this mirror, I literally woke up out of bed and I was like, how dope would it be if I had a circle mirror here that gives like a reflection of the wall so it can like bounce off and literally went out to Tuesday morning and I got this mirror now on camera I don't know if you can tell but this mirror is massive it's but I love everything about it and underneath at the bottom it's gonna be a um I got a bench hopefully I'm crossing the fingers that I like it it's a um a storage bench is very aesthetically pleasing y'all and I can like store different things in it but I thought this would be super cool that you can kind of like see the back the backdrop it's giving girl so yeah that's the wall girl I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're interested in any of the details on anything back here I'm gonna try to link as much as I can in the um in the description box and also be on the lookout because I'm going to be uploading my Amazon storefront with everything that I've been finding and all of the things. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate you girls for watching and I will see you girls in the next video. Life is boring, so I'll never leave